That's where we find ABC 10's Kevin John. Kevin, a very important game tonight, huh? But we play again tomorrow, and we have a chance to light that beam then. You see, Chris, I like how you already looked ahead to tomorrow before we can even get through that mess that happened here inside of Golden One Center tonight. You're right, Chris. The Kings will have an opportunity tomorrow against the Phoenix Suns. But let's talk about tonight. The Kings knew what was at stake coming into tonight's game. It's as simple as this. If they won tonight, they still keep their hopes open for securing that sixth seed and automatic playoff berth. If they were to lose tonight, then they know that that six seed, they can kiss it goodbye. And of course, the latter did happen tonight. Enough of me talking about it. Let's take a look on how it all went down. Kings back for some home cooking for the first time in nine days. And best believe these fans knew what was at stake. The sellout crowd hoping to give the Kings all the motivation they need to get the victory. But Zion Williamson and the New Orleans Pelicans were in the mood to spoil the party. Now in all four games, the Pelicans beat the Kings this season. The average margin of victory was 21 points. And early in the first, it looked like that would be the case. The Pelicans came out hotter than New Orleans beignets. The Pelicans opened the game on a 9-0 run and were up 34-11 in the first quarter. Yeah, that's a 23-point lead if you're counting. It was as if the Kings just rode out of bed. Sacramento would battle back, ending the first on a 12-0 run, but by that point, they were playing catch-up the rest of the game. Kings would then settle in in the second quarter, outscoring the Pelicans 35 to 30 in the frame. De'Aaron Fox led the Kings with 17 points at intermission. And in the third quarter, Zion Williamson turned into the incredible Hulk. The man was just unstoppable. Williamson scored 17 of his 31 points in the frame. Meanwhile, De'Aaron Fox doing everything he can to carry the team on his back. The reigning NBA Clutch Player of the Year wasn't going down like no punk. He had a game-high 33 points in this one. Kings would cut the lead to four, but C.J. McCollum, my goodness. C.J. just loves playing the Kings. This dude could have missed a three if he were blindfolded and had one arm tied behind his back. He was 9-12 from downtown and had 31 points on the night. Pelicans increased the lead to 20 in the fourth quarter, and by that time, the damage was done. The Kings fans were heading to the exits and booing on their way out. The Pelicans come into Sacramento and defeat the Kings for the fifth time this season. 135 to 123, the final from Golden One Center, and the Kings are now officially a play-in team. We all should be embracing this 100%. For sure, guys, I want to frickin' win every game. And trust me, uh, I go home and I bang my head against the wall just like everybody else in that locker room on these losses. Uh, but I'm, I'm excited about it. I want to, I'm, I've embraced it. It, it, it. If we could have finished in six, I wanted that more than anything else or fifth. But at the end of the day, uh, this is where we are, and let's freaking go get it, and let's learn and grow from it and see what happens at the end of the day. But I'm, I'm excited about any opportunity to play in the postseason. Well, you hear Coach Brown saying he's excited for a postseason opportunity, and that postseason opportunity is going to come in the play-in tournament. As of now, the Kings are the eighth seed tied with the Golden State Warriors and Los Angeles Lakers. The good news is the Kings own the tiebreaker over both teams, but man, they did not make it easy for themselves these final two games. No beams shining up here. I'm going to toss it back to you guys. Mm, those lucky charms more important than ever now. Mm -hmm. We're going <laughs> to light that beam tomorrow, Kevin. We're going to keep being positive about this one. We can do this thing. We thank you, sir. We're back after this.